I'm Jeanette Paradiso and I'm here at the Addison Historical Museum. Our address is 135 Army Trail Road. We are just south of Addison's Village Hall. We are open on Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. In today's program, we will be continuing with the fond reflections of Addison's days gone by. And those are the memoirs of a gentleman named Clarence Feeney, who was a lifelong resident of Addison. His father was a barber. Um, Mr. Feeney himself was employed by International Harvester. He lived to the age of nine, uh, 94, died in the year 2002. Last time we did this, um, we were talking about um, a super con man who came to Addison. Um, that's how Mr. Feeney described him. He also referred to this person as a slicker who is, which would be a sly, tricky person. So we'll continue with that story. One time, a super con man appeared in Addison. He was singing the praises of a brush factory that he was about to build. He would employ most of the Addison people at high paying jobs and was soliciting investments as well as donated labor for the project. A few workers were digging the basement and pouring cement for the foundation. The slicker also approached my father and asked him if he would donate labor for the project. My father was quite outspoken in this instance and bluntly asked the slicker why he wasn't out there wielding a shovel. Oh no, that is not my line of work. I was commissioned to supervise the construction of the factory and to petition for investments was his reply. My father said that he would think of investing when he'd see the wheels turning. The foundation was poured, and there it stood, and so it remained for many years. The con man disappeared with all of the investments he had collected and never again was seen. And now we move on to talking about a severe snowstorm that occurred in Addison in December of 1918. It started to snow on a Saturday evening and snowed throughout the night and all of the day through Sunday and Sunday night. The snow was hip high to a tall Indian and was 42 inches in depth. In some areas, the wind whipped up snow which reached the roofs of some houses. During World War I, there were sad happenings. The dreaded hoof and mouth disease infected many cattle. Some farmers lost their entire herds, which had to be destroyed and then buried. At times in the summer months, a number of gypsies would come to Addison in covered wagons. They would camp in a wooded area along Wooddale Road, three or four blocks north of Lake Street, and here they pitched their tents. In the evening, they would sit around campfires to cook or roast their meals. One evening, they celebrated a wedding by roasting a sheep or a goat over a large campfire. The ladies wore brightly colored dresses and around their necks they wore necklaces fashioned from coins of many descriptions. Now and then, the gypsy ladies would come into town and offer to bless the money in one's pocket. The town folks were wary, remaining a safe distance away from the nimble-fingered ladies. The campsite must have appealed to the gypsies. They would return to the same area for a number of years, and rattlesnakes were known to, to occur in the surrounding areas. And speaking of rattlesnakes, um, if you visit our museum, you will see a rattlesnake skin on display. And this is from a rattlesnake that Clarence Feeney actually killed in the year 1918. And it was located just west of Salt Creek near Lake Street. Whenever tornadoes were sighted, they usually touched down in open areas west of Mill Road. Now and then, some buildings were damaged by storms. Farmer Ryan had a beautiful flock of white leghorn chickens in his yard. A very strong whirlwind passed through the area and vacuumed up the entire flock of chickens. Okay, we'll have to end at this point, uh, but we will continue in our next segment. <music>